Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you about the multi-band Landsat visualization. Previously I already saw on the DIMM visualization single band. So in this video I am going to show you multi-band Landsat visualization. You can also uh, use a sentinel or other image for visualizing. So for that you have to call some image or the Landsat image. For calling any image you have to first uh, uh, write as a ver, sorry, ver that means a variable then uh, write a name variable name I'm writing as a image then equal to then you write as a ee dot image so for calling an image you have to write this then you give up uh, bracket then just uh, within within a code you have to put some uh, image name or image location so this is a basically a landsat and then uh, this is a uh, uh, landsat 9 okay this is a top of the atmosphere t1 top of the atmosphere this is when see this landsat 9 9 this is a path and 50 is a row and that the date of the image so don't worry about the image name uh, in the uh, some next video I'm gonna show you about the image collection you can get the name from that I give the name on the description box of this video you can get the data from that just copy the image name and paste it on e.image and for closing that then give the semicolon now enter for visualization map we have to give some visualization parameter if you want to see the map on a false color or true color you have to give the visualization parameter so for visualization parameter you use variable this para for visualization parameter equal to then we will curly bracket we you have to give the bands basically the bands okay of the image then within square bracket we have to give the band name so we just uh, uh, try to see the image on standard font for composition so you know that uh, if you search as a landsat 9 so you can see the band so basically uh, this is the band first turning green for it red and green so this is the band 5 band 4 and band 3 so you have to write as a b5 b4 and b3 okay so for that write as a b5 comma b4 comma b3 okay and you have to put the minimum value mean is equal to zero comma so first of all give the comma here then max as a 0 0.5 basically it is a top of the atmosphere that's so the reflectance so that's why we have to give uh, this now if uh, the image is on a pixel uh, then you have to write maximum as a uh, 60,000 something okay I, I, I will show you on later okay just uh, close the sentence after that you have to for uh, for the opening it on a particular location you have to give some code like uh, map dot center object then with the variable name that is the image okay then comma and set the zoom level then close the sentence then map dot add layer or display the map up to the in bracket so first the image image comma that go through a visualization parameter so this para then with the comma 
will write the player name standard fcc okay. then close the sentence and run it so, so this is the image okay that's shown in the center so because we reset as a map short center object it show on that object and this is the zoom level that so on the zoom level here if you click on the inspector button and click on here you can see that things that you can see that the zoom level is here okay now uh, you can see that's a visualization parameter that is band 543 so it is you know uh, standard for scalar composition and this red portion is showing the vegetation basically this is the ocean guard of india okay and this is the arabian sea you can see okay. if you want to uh, visualize this on uh, true color you have to give something just a uh, copy it visualization parameter okay paste it uh, first of all you have to rename this because one name cannot be possible and uh, change the band name as a before b3 and b2 after that you have to give some for displaying that you have to write as map dot at dear package so bracket niche comma this para one comma true color okay then close the sentence now run it so now you can see two layers one is a true color and there is a standard false color so it so the true color was running yeah so this is the true color image that show the vegetation on green and the water body is blue okay so you can see here so this is the true color image below that there is a standard false color image okay so by using this you can visualize any image so you have to call the image for landsat or sentinel or bodies etc so in the next video i'm going to show you about image collection thank you for watching this video